we are going to determine the number of electrons that rub off onto a balloon when you scrape it on your hair. And to do this, we're going to use a meter stick, a piece of thread tied to the meter stick you can see here, and two balloons. And I'm going to charge these. We are going to assume the balloons are spherical. And we also have to assume that the balloons have the same charge. I'm going to try to make that happen by just rubbing them both on my head the same amount. We can clearly see that the balloons are being repelled, which makes sense because they're charged with the same sign of charge. But what we're going to do now is, using the geometry of the situation and the mass of one of the balloons, we're going to determine how many electrons are on each balloon, at least to a sig figure two. So let's take a look at this geometry. We do have to let the balloons come to rest so that we know that they're in equilibrium. And you may have to estimate some of the values by getting your ruler as close as you can without disturbing the system. And in some cases, you may be given some of these values. But generally, you must measure the length of the string L. And in this case, we must assume for geometrical purposes that the string length goes all the way to the center of the balloon. You must measure the distance between the centers of the balloons, R. You must also measure the mass of the balloon, M. With those three pieces of data and Coulomb's law, you can figure out how many excess electrons are on each balloon. Have fun!